Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mark in the Dark here. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to start modding in Arma 3. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to install from the workshop, how to install unformatted mods, and also lastly, how to install formatted mods. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, as you can see here, we're on my desktop. For the first example, to install mods for Arma 3, all you have to do is go through the workshop. So, on the bottom, scroll down here, under Arma 3 selected, click visit the workshop. After that's selected, go to items and type what you're looking for. For this example, I'm installing Leon's AK, as you can see here. It's a very, very attractive looking AK. All you have to do is press that subscribe button. Now with Armor 3 booted up, all you have to do now is install the Armor, uh, the add-ons correctly. So you can see here for the workshop add-on, the add-ons have been installed. So you want to make sure you run the Armor 3 launcher, go to mods, scroll all the way down, and where you see Leon Kennedy's AK, you want to select that box. And if you have dependencies, it will ask you to install stuff. For the example, I have to install it. All right, that is the workshop add-on installed into my Arma 3 uh, mod manager. Next up, this time I'll be showing you guys how to install mods that are unformatted. For this example, you wanna to go to Arma, where Arma 3 is installed on your Steam. You wanna right click it, click manage or hover over it, click browse local files. It will take you to the install directory for Arma. So now go to your downloads folder where you're going to be installing. So for example, you already see here the exe and that's how far you have to go. Just find that exe where the Arma 3 is installed, right click the open space in the Arma 3 folder, click new or hover over it, click uh, folder, create a new folder and put an at sign and then put uh, whatever name you want. For example, I'm gonna put TFL. And then you wanna double click inside of it. You wanna create a new folder called add-ons. Now double click inside of it again. Go into your mod where you see your PBOs. You wanna select this, all of these, and drop it into the add-ons folder. As you can see here, the PBOs are under the add-ons folder for under TFL. That is it, you have installed an unformatted add-on into the Arma 3 directory. Now, to install mods into the Arma 3 mod manager, all you have to do is click local mod and find the folder you want to install. So for example, I'll be installing TFL. If you double click, you see the add-ons and you see there would be the PBLs. So you click TFL, click select folder, you see that TFL is installed. And that is it, that's how you install a unformatted add-on into Arma 3. Lastly, I'll be showcasing you guys how to install a formatted add-on. As you can see here, there's an add-on and there's three other files under the add-on or under the MTF or whatever downloaded fi uh, file there is. So you do the same process as the unformatted. Just click a uh, hover over new folder, type whatever you want. For example, it's gonna be MTF, double click inside of it. And now all you have to do is tr select all these, drag and drop it into the MF. FTF folder. That is it. You have installed add-ons for Arma. It's in the directory. So for this example, all you have to do now is run Arma 3. Lastly, to install add-ons that are formatted, like you backed it up from the workshop, click the local mod box, or the button, and click the MTF vest. Click select folder. And you see that MTF vest has been installed. Just click the checkbox box. And that is it. You have installed a formatted mod that you have backed up from the workshop. All right, guys, that is it. Hope you guys have a great day. Have fun modding. And let me know if you have any more questions in the comments section below. Have a good one.